What's going on everybody? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. In today's video, I'm going to show you a faster and easier way to hit the money glitch that I posted yesterday. It's super, super efficient and you guys got to check it out, but right after this message. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. All right, so now that we're back into the video, uh, the founders of this glitch are Killer Gaming, Obese Giraffe, and Gaming with Irish Demon. As always, links are down in the description. Now for this Doom method, we're not saving the cars in the MOC. We're actually going to be saving the cars in the CEO garage. So that's the new requirement. So I'll go over all of them real quick right now. You need a close friend session, a bunker, an MOC, one friend, an RH8 inside your MOC, Xbox being a free aim session. I'll be doing the whole glitch on Xbox this time. Uh, you need another friend in assisted aim somewhere else. So if you're in free aim, you need another friend in assisted aim. So different targeting modes. And you do not need custom plates for this. So the new requirement is a CEO garage with a mod shop and it needs empty spaces. So you need an empty space for every dupe you plan on bringing into the mod shop. Okay, now to start off the glitch, a lot of people are having problems not getting black screens. As you saw right there, I was in another session. My friend joined a close friend session and he actually sent me the invite. Okay, he sent me this invite to his close friend session. He must be the host. This is how we're actually going to rinse and repeat all of this using the CEO garage. So get ready because this is the best way and fastest way to do this glitch. All right. So once I've gotten into my friend's session, he's just going to send me an invite into his bunker. What he's doing right now, he grabbed an RH8 or whatever car was inside of his MOC, pulled it out, sent me an invite. OK, so now this is the RH8 from his MOC. He's driving it. I'm just going to go ahead and hop in and we're going to park right behind his MOC. Now, once we're parked behind his MOC, he has the right D-pad option. What I'm going to do is eventually I'm going to tell him to hit right D-pad, but not yet. I'm going to go to my friends list and I'm going to get a friend in a different targeting mode ready to go. So I know this guy is in assisted aim. I am in free aim so I can join him. So I'm simply just going to start spamming on it and I'm going to tell him to press right D-pad. So right now I'm spamming on it. I'm going to say right D-pad. He's going to hit it. I should get one alert except the first alert decline the second. If you got the timing right, you should see him driving up into his MOC. Everything will disappear. You'll get out and you'll be in the default bunker. Now you should get kicked out after a few seconds, just like you saw me do, just like you saw, you know, happen right there. Now we end up walking out of the default bunker. Once you're out of the default bunker, you want to tell your friend to go ahead and leave the session. You can go ahead and call up an oppressor or your buzzard because you need to get back to your bunker. So. As you can see right there at the bottom left, it says my friend left the session. So I'm just going to take my oppressor back over to my facility. Now that we're here, go ahead and disband your MC or sign out of your CEO. You do not want to be signed in at all. Now, call up your mechanic and this is where you're calling up the car that you want to dupe. Remember, Benny's vehicles are the way to dupe. I heard somebody saying or I read somebody in the last comments of my last video saying that the uh, the GTB, the Itali, sells for more. I'm sorry, it does not. The LG Retro Custom sells for the most money. People have tried to tell me that the Nero sells for the most too. It doesn't. Trust me. Trust me 100%. I know what I'm talking about. Ask any other glitch YouTuber. They know the, retro, the LG Retro Custom sells for the most money. So... Right now, I'm going to go ahead and get into the LG Retro Custom. I have a custom plate on it, but you don't need one, okay? I just have that there to show you that we're going to get a fresh generic plate. All right, so now my friend has left the session. Remember, he's not here anymore. I'm just going to go ahead and drive into my bunker. Once I drive into my bunker, I will get hit with an infinite black loading screen. So right here on the infinite black loading screen, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, join a friend in another targeting mode so that I can get off of this black screen. Remember, accept the first alert to climb the second. PlayStation, what you guys will be doing is going ahead and going to a recent activity and then decline the alert. So you hit Star GT Online and you decline the alert. Uh, that's how you get off the black screen. But Xbox, yeah, we're doing a we're joining a friend in another targeting mode, except the first alert, decline the second. Now we can drive around. Go ahead and go to the back of your MOC. Hit right D-pad once you get the option to and the blue circle comes back. There we go. I should get a message saying that it's full. Accept that. That's because my RH8 is in there. We're about to override it. So 
Once you drive in there, you will be hit with another infinite black loading screen. Now on this one, the way to get out of this, you tell your friend to go ahead and join the session back. This is why we're in a close friend session so he could just press pause or go to the party or whatever and just join us right back without an invite or anything like that. It will make the glitch way more simple and fluid, okay? So once that happens, you actually should get kicked off of that screen. You saw there how I actually got kicked off momentarily, but I got back on. I don't know why, but that was happening to me throughout this whole video. So if that does happen to you, you get kicked off the screen, but back on the black screen, do the same thing. A recent activity, decline the alert, or join a friend in another charting mode, except the first alert, decline the second. But normally, once your friend joins back, it should kick you off of the black screen. So once you're on this stuck animation, go ahead and start up a Titan of a job. You're gonna go into the lobby screen of a Titan of a job, and once you've loaded fully down, you're just gonna simply back out, okay? So once we're at this point, just hit B or circle, confirm that alert, and then you will be stuck or you will spawn in your M or in your bunker, sorry, in your bunker, invisible momentarily. And sometimes your MOCs will freak out and dupe. So go ahead and just walk out of your bunker. And what should be waiting for you outside is the car that you drove in. But this is not the original retro custom. This is in fact the dupe. Look at the plate. That is not the virus plate I had on it originally. That is the brand new generic plate that was on my RH8. So now you want to go ahead and drive or take a cargo bob back over to your CEO garage, okay? And you want to take this and park it into one of the garages that has empty spots. It needs empty spots. You can't be trading in or, you know, swapping cars, all right? Now, once we've gotten in, don't worry if it says you can't modify the vehicle. You definitely can. Hop right back into the car and press right D-pad to enter the mod shop. And don't mind that guy spamming me party invites. Uh, by the way, that's actually how you get blocked by me. This guy was, this guy spammed me about 50 invites during the making of this video. I blocked him right after. Okay. So now what you want to do is go ahead and make a modification to the car. So go to the license plates. You can actually change the license plate itself, you know, to a different text or the color of the plate. If you want to, you can make any modification on the car. Really any little modification will get it to stick. So the cheaper, the better. So you see, you can change the color of the plate and go ahead and exit to office garage one. All right. Once you've done that, you're good to go. You should park back into the office garage. I blocked that guy right there. So that's it. No more messages. Okay. So now that car is fully saved. So this is how you rinse and repeat. You don't need to do everything over again. Just simply open up your internet, you know, through your phone or whatever, and go ahead and order up another LG RH8 into your MOC. So I'm going to order a free RH8 right into the MOC. So that's good to go. Now you want to make your way back over to your bunker. So the easiest way I found doing this to actually like, all right, so you call up your buzzard. You see, and when I call up my buzzard through my, uh, through my assistant, you go ahead and you tell your friend, join the session back. So you see, or sorry, you tell your friend to leave the session. Sorry about that. So yeah, tell your friend to leave the session. You fly back over to your bunker. And by the time I got to my bunker every time and I was ordering up my LG retro custom. So check it out. I'm going to order up the LG retro custom. Look at the bottom left my LG RH8 actually got delivered to the MOC just in time, okay? So it's almost perfect timing to actually do it that way. You see that RH8 was just delivered to the MOC? Perfect, so now I have the LG Retro Custom and this is where you're gonna actually rinse and repeat from this part. So have your friend leave the session, just like you saw right there when I was on the way to the bunker, call up the car you wanna duplicate, drive it into your bunker, okay? Once we drive it into the bunker, we're gonna get hit with that infinite black loading screen once again. All right, so once we're on the infinite black loading screen, remember PS4, recent activity, start GC online and decline the alert. Xbox, we got to join a friend in another targeting mode, accept the first alert and decline the second. Okay, so that's why I recommend Xbox guys being a free aim session. Mostly everybody is in assisted aim. Okay, so go ahead and join a friend in another targeting mode. As you can see, I'm doing right here. I'm going to accept this alert and then decline the second alert. Now I can drive around in the bunker, then go ahead and make your way over to the MOC. Remember, the blue circle doesn't appear right away because you just had an alert up. It's kind of delayed. So now that you can press right D-pad, accept the full alert, you're going to get hit with another infinite black loading screen. This is when you tell your friend to go ahead and join back into the session. So like I said before, for some reason, the entire time during making this, during the making of this video, every time my friend joined back, I'd only get kicked off the screen for about two seconds or not even. As you saw right there, I got kicked off the screen and then right back into a black screen. So I actually had to do, uh, you know, join a friend in another charging mode after that every time. Okay. So to actually get fully kicked off. So as you can see, if that ever happens to you, that's all you got to do. Either do a recent or do a charging mode alert. 
okay? So once you're stuck on this animation, go ahead and start up a Titan of a job, back out of it, jump into the car outside after you leave your bunker, drive it over to your CEO garage with empty spots. Once you park it into your CEO garage, you're just gonna make a modification on it. Okay, so at the top left, you see where it actually says the vehicle cannot be modified. Like I said, just ignore that message. It always can be. The game just detects that there's something off with this car, all right? It's just, it's like there, but it's not. It's really, really weird, but you can still do it, okay? So hop right back into the vehicle once you're parked in that empty spot. Hit right on the D-pad a few times or spam it if you really want to. But once you do that, you can go ahead and modify the car in any way. Change the plate, color, plate holder, whatever you want. Now go ahead and order up another RH8 into your MOC. Go to your assistant, call up a buzzard, tell your friend to leave the session. You saw that in the bottom left. So my friend left the session right here. You fly right back to your bunker. Once you fly back to your bunker, land, call up your mechanic, call out your LG Retro Custom that you want to do. My RH8 was just delivered, so I'm going to go ahead and drive into my bunker, get hit with a black screen, recent activity, yada, yada, yada. You know, you know the drill, guys. This is all just, you know, a rehash, all right? This is all the same stuff that we're just doing over and over and over again. I did it twice already before I just fast forwarded through here. But I just wanted to show you, this is what you would be rinsing and repeating over and over again. So each dupe will take you maybe five minutes after you get set up, you know, and it's really because of the driving. So like I said, if you want to make this a little bit quicker, you can actually have your friend with a cargo bob and he can pick you up and actually fly you back to your CEO garage if you really want to do that instead. You don't have to drive every time. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. That's going to be it for me. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out, everybody.